Orma Man is British perfumery at its finest, so let's review it now. What's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel where I upload weekly fragrance content so you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down below if you also love fragrances and be sure to follow me over on my Instagram page. So today we are reviewing probably one of the most popular fragrances from the house of Ormond Jane. And if you don't know, Ormond Jane is a niche British perfume house which was founded by Linda Pinkleton over 20 years ago. And she's actually a very active and big name in the community which I respect. Also, I do want to shout out Ormond Jane for sending this fragrance over for review, but of course that's not going to sway my opinions on it whatsoever. So, let's go over some information. Now, Ormond Man was launched back in 2004, so I believe it was one of the first creations by the house of Ormond Jane, which of course has been around for quite some time now. As far as the retail price on these new bottle sizes, which is 88ml, which is a very interesting size, is going to run you $290, which is pretty expensive but this is a very high quality niche house but i will leave a tag on this video the best prices you can find this at concentration with this one is actually an extract de parfum which is new because these used to only come in eau de parfums they did away with the edps and made all of them parfums now so all the new bottles that you're going to buy now at retail at least is going to have this new intensity parfum concentration the perfumer behind orma man and a lot from the house of ormond jane is giza scone i don't really know anything else he's created besides the fragrances with ormond jane with all the information out of the way let's look at the packaging and presentation you get with ormond man now so take a look at the box it's going to come in this kind of signature orange ormond jane box of course ormond man parfum 88 ml which is three ounce on the bottom you do have your barcode and batch code to authenticate your product to see when it was produced nothing on the sides nothing on the top you turn it around you have some of your ingredients and these are of course made in england and this does open up into another orange box that opens up like so and you are greeted with this kind of note card with some information about the house and or my man and your bottle is housed in there all in all beautiful presentation with the box so let's look at the bottle now so take a look at these new style bottles which are a little bit different compared to the older style ormond jane bottles these ones are a little bit rounded off on the top but still recognizable as the ormond jane of course you have ormond jane on the orange colorway on the front created in london on the bottom you do have your information as well as a batch code on a sticker nothing on the back nothing on the top of the cap nothing inside of the cap nothing on the atomizer and these caps are very very heavy they are metal and they do click into place as you can hear very snugly and these are heavy in the top you have cardamom pink pepper juniper berries bergamot and coriander in the mid you have black hemlock and oud in the base you have cedarwood sandalwood vetiver and musk and this will be classified as a woody spicy so let's spray this and test out these atomizers very nice distribution on that beauty it is pressurized so they did upgrade the atomizers with this which is nice so let's go ahead and remind myself of ormond man now now this is a scent profile i fell in love with the moment i got my nose on it around a year ago i did have a decant which i still do of the edp version of it it literally smells identical it's still ormond man so don't worry about it being like reformulated or anything like that however it does come across a little bit stronger in this parfum concentration but what you're going to get in the top of Ormond Man is a very, very spicy opening combined with the cardamom and that pink pepper, of course. But you also get this very green, fresh juniper berries, which kind of give it an aromatic twist along with the spiciness. So just a very sophisticated opening with Ormond Man that will capture anybody's attention when you spray this stuff. And like I said in the intro of this video, this literally smells like the pinnacle of British perfumery. Like if I had to choose one fragrance to describe a British fragrance, it would be Ormond Man, I'm not even joking. So when you start making your way into the mid of Ormond Man is where it starts to become pretty dark and mysterious. So mysterious that this was actually my scent of the day on Halloween last year because you are gonna be greeted with this very unique black hemlock note. And if you're not familiar with black hemlock, it was used as poison like maybe thousands of years ago, I believe in ancient Greece, which does give it this kind of dark vibe once you actually know that it was used for that. But it also, as far as its fragrance goes, it gives it a very green kind of piney, almost like you're walking into a forest with trees and wood and just that fresh kind of uh, forest air is the vibe I get in the mid. 
but you are also greeted with that oud. Now, if you're afraid of oud or you're not a big fan of oud, do not push this fragrance aside because the oud isn't funky. It's not even barnyardy. It's just extremely woody is the vibe I get. So pretty much just a very dark, mysterious, woody, green, fresh mid. I've literally never smelled any fragrance quite like Orma Man, so this fragrance has stayed very unique from all the way back in 2004. Nothing even comes close to this beauty even to this day. 20 years later, this fragrance came out 20 years ago. And then finally, when you get into the base of Orma Man, which is gonna take a few hours being in a, a parfum concentration, it just turns even more woody compared to the mid. Just like woody, woody, woody. Mostly from the cedar wood, I'm not really getting much of that sandalwood. Thankfully, because sandalwood, as we know, can turn very pickly. That's not the case in here. It's just like a dry, earthy cedar wood is what I'm picking up on. Not much of the vetiver or musk. Like through and through, just like the classification of this fragrance is extremely spicy and very woody with some green nuances. Just a must have in anybody's collection that enjoys like British perfumery and wants something unique, this is it right here and could be pulled off as a signature scent in my opinion. For the best seasons to wear or my man, if you do get a bottle of this stuff, is for me gonna be the spring, fall, especially the fall time because of the woodiness and obviously the winter time as well. Especially with this new parfum concentration, it does wear nice in the colder months. I wouldn't really recommend the summertime, even though you could if you love this fragrance so much and you are wearing it as a signature scent, it can be pulled off in the summer. But if not, it is the best in the colder months, especially like evenings in the springtime. I don't know if it's just me personally that has an association with Halloween with this fragrance, but it literally smells like fall in a bottle. Kind of just walking around like on a fall day when the leaves are falling on the ground. You get that like fall breeze going on. That's the, the perfect situation to wear this one is in the fall and winter, but it can be worn in the spring and summer if you really wanted to. For occasion, depending on if you're rocking this as a signature, but if not, this is a very classy, sophisticated, formal attire situation fragrance, especially for me. Like when I smell this, I smell a very classy guy rocking this one in like a button up, a suit, even a tuxedo probably. It just smells wealthy. It smells like somebody that has money and has their life together. So. If I had to choose, this is much more of a classy style fragrance rather than a casual fragrance. Even though, of course, you can wear a dress down if you really wanted to, no fragrance is literally only made for a formal attire or a casual attire, but when you smell this, you're gonna think the same exact thing, somebody wealthy and dressed up. For gender, just like the name suggests, or my man, I do think this does lean on the masculine side of things. There's nothing really feminine about this. Even though I have heard about like, guys wearing Ormond woman and women wearing Ormond man. I don't really have an opinion on that because I haven't smelled Ormond woman, but Ormond man definitely is masculine to my nose. Personally, I really wouldn't enjoy my woman wearing this fragrance around me. It's just a little bit too dark, spicy, woody, and masculine for me. And for age groups, that kind of goes along with the occasion being formal. You picture a mature gentleman wearing this one, not a youthful teenager at all. This is not a teenage kind of playful fragrance by any means. So if you are a little bit older, I would personally say anybody like 25 and up is perfectly suited for Ormond Man. So if that's you, you're looking for a signature scent that's gonna stand out and not smell like anybody else, Ormond Man is the fragrance for you without a doubt. So wrapping the review off, talking on the performance, you're gonna get with Ormond Man, at least with the parfum that I have in hand, I honestly got around average performance with this one, which average longevity for me personally is around the eight hour mark. So you will at least get a fragrance that's gonna last you the majority of the day. I did wish this one performed a little bit better when it comes to the longevity, especially being an extract to parfum. I'm honestly not sure if my bottle just has to sit and age and mature a little bit to perform at its peak, which is usually the case with extract to parfums. They do have to sit a little bit. And you can tell this one is very potent just by slushing that oil inside, man. This does look like an extrait when you move it around. Very, very potent juice in there. Now for the projection as well, most of the time, not all the time, but with extraits, they don't project as much as something like an Eau de Cologne, an Eau de Toilette, or even an Eau de Parfum, because what makes a fragrance project is the alcohol concentration. Of course, higher perfume oils means lower alcohol, which usually makes a fragrance last longer, but does sit a little bit closer to the skin. And this one is just like that. This is not a loud fragrance. It doesn't scream off the skin. It's actually pretty soft when it comes to projection, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think this does last a little bit longer than the older EDP bottles, but doesn't project as much 
at least as of now, I've only had this bottle for maybe like two weeks or so. So hopefully that does change once this one sits on the shelf a little bit longer and starts to mature. But as of now, about average longevity and kind of below average projection where it is a little bit soft, but that doesn't mean that people won't smell you. It is just a little bit closer to the skin, so people are gonna have to maybe come a little bit closer in your scent bubble. It's not gonna fill a room, it's not gonna project over six feet or nothing like that. It's not a beast mode fragrance. But I don't think Ormond Jane was going for that. This is more of a classy kind of fragrance, maybe a date night fragrance where you want your date to come closer to you and doesn't overwhelm them when you're out at dinner or something. And a lot of people don't really care about having a beast mode loud projecting fragrance. So that isn't the end of the world for most people out there. Most of the time, longevity is more important than having a fragrance that projects loud. If that wasn't the case, then a lot of people would just buy an Eau de Cologne, which projects heavy for like maybe 30 minutes to an hour and then just disappears. That's gonna do it for my review of this classic from Ormond Jane. Let me know down below if you have any experience with Ormond Man and also if you have any experience with the house of Ormond Jane and what is your favorite from the house. I'm very curious because I've tried about four from them so far and I've been very, very impressed. It might be one of my favorite British perfume houses of all time. So leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Subscribe down below and I'll catch all of you guys back here in my next upload. Take care everybody.